hi guys um today i'm going to do something different um entirely different from my usual video so today i'm going to be preparing nigerian stew okay and uh, i know most of you don't know how we make our stew in nigeria it's not the usual curry stew it's just um something you just have to explore and learn how to do so uh, in today's video i'm just going to go straight and uh, tell you guys what i want to do like i've said before i'm going to be making nigerian stew and i'll be making it with my chicken labs this is frozen chicken labs and uh, i'll be adding some vegetables i love adding um vegetable to my stew because i love this on uh, this video i'll be adding now um, i'll be adding spring onion leaves and uh, i'll be using my tomato paste and enough fresh tomatoes i'll be showing you guys this is my fresh tomatoes i'll be using all for this stew and uh what else what else what else no more things so as i keep on preparing the stew you will see what and what i'll be adding to the stew so if you're interested please don't go away keep on yes. watching yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back again. So I have washed the chicken properly. I've cleaned the chicken and I've washed them. So I'll just go ahead and uh, slice my onions. properly then i'll cover it for 10 seconds in order for the chicken to marinate we want the chicken to be thirsty we want the spices to you know penetrate into the chicken to make it thirsty so we're going to allow it to marinate for 10 seconds so after about 10 seconds we have to just i love shaking them like shaking them together to ensure that they are properly then I'll boil the chicken. While the chicken is boiling, I'll go ahead and blend my fresh tomatoes, pepper, and little extra onions. So this is my fresh tomato paste. And the chicken is ready. I kept the chicken stock for cooking. Then I'll go ahead and fry the chicken. I'm using this pure sunflower oil for frying. I'm not going to fry the chicken to look so dry, just a little stir fry so that it doesn't look so look so uh, fresh or look like something that is not well bought. So that's why I stir fry the chicken. Okay. 
So we are now ready to start cooking our stew. The first thing we have to do is to add oil to a dried pot and add our fresh uh, tomatoes, the blended fresh tomatoes. In my country, we do not throw away the oil we use for frying. We use it also to cook. So I'll go ahead and add the fresh tomatoes. Stir it. So I have my tomato paste, I will just um, open the tomato paste, add it together with the fresh tomatoes so that everything will dry together. The essence of drying up the uh, fresh tomatoes is to ensure that after cooking your stew, it doesn't have a slappy taste. In our country, we usually do like this, we don't slice the fresh tomatoes and use it directly like that. We, we try to dry the excess water from the fresh tomatoes to make sure that your stew is tasty without being slappy. I'll also add the extra chicken stock that I got from the chicken so that everything will dry at the same time. We know that chicken stock adds a lot to the food we are cooking. Whether chicken stock, beef stock, or whatever stock you have, you don't have to throw it away. You, you can keep it and use it for your cooking. I love to add extra nutmeg to my uh, tomato paste. So I'm adding little nutmeg to the tomato paste. While it's drying, it's also adding a test to the stew. So you have to give it a very nice stir and cover it then allow it to dry. As you can see the stew is boiling it's not dried you will you will see when it's completely dried it's boiling now so I'll just add the stock so everything could dry up at the same time I'm literally explaining what, what I just explained earlier just add the stock Stay it and let it dry. Okay, as you can see, our stew is boiling, it's boiling perfectly well, but not completely. Dried. When the stew is completely dried, you will see that the oil will float on top and uh, you just have two layers, oil on top and the, the thick paste will just be down. You will see like that. So that's when you know the stew is completely dried, it's almost ready or it's ready. As you can see the oil is bubbling the oil is coming out and that, that means the tomato paste is drying up and pretty soon it will be ready
so guys the tomato paste is completely dried I will just correct my seasoning add a little salt and uh, one more seasoning cube to taste this is just to correct the seasoning and to make sure that everything in there is balanced so I'll just give it a proper stir then I'll add my stir fried chicken this is this should be second to the last thing to be added after correcting your seasoning give it a stay you see this still is properly dried like it's very thick it doesn't look watery it's very thick looks yummy and appetizing so I will go ahead and test it and make sure everything is um, tasty well seasoned if it is not well seasoned I'll have to correct my seasoning so I have to add little salt because it needs extra salt to balance the taste I think it's balanced now so finally I'll be adding my spring onion leaves my favorite I'll be adding the spring onion leaves to the stew and voila the stew is ready one thing I like about this stew is the taste of the spring onion and the stew if you've not tried this method please try it out you're definitely going to like it you can serve this stew with white rice you can serve it with yam you can serve it with anything you feel like serving it with just try this method out so what I'm doing right now just giving it there and uh, it's ready the stew is ready nothing else to do the taste is balanced everything is okay just um, I'll let it boil for um, two minutes it's okay and I will bring it up because you wouldn't let the spring onion get so cooked that the color will change and you wouldn't like uh, the, the look anymore 